<laughs> well, we're in the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh making some great party grubs, garlic mustard ribeye steaks with jalapeno red eye gravy. gravy. That sounds awesome. Well, you know, we, we knew that today was going to be anchored by all the guys, so we had to do a guy's yeah. meal. So this is, what, <laughs> this is what it comes down to. But we're going to do a ribeye steak. We're going to put a little bit of rub on there, um, mm -hmm. kind of sear it off in here, finish it off in the oven. And, but we're going to pair it up with a few things. We're going to take some mashed potatoes. We're going to add some okay. uh, cheese and some uh, uh, caramelized onions. And then we're going to have some roasted uh, asparagus and some portobello mushrooms roasted off. Real easy stuff to do. Um, but, you know, it's also going to have one more thing. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise later on. All right. Looking forward to that. And we're going to see more of that in just a moment. There's a live look at Chopper 10. The party is underway as the parade of sail continues up the Elizabeth River. Hundreds of boats and thousands of people have lined the parade route to get a glimpse of our worldwide friends and visitors. Opsail 2012 continues today on the Hampton Road Show. All right, but right now we're back in the kitchen with Chef Bob here with from Farm Fresh. And today we're making a man's meal because it's yeah. upsell out there today. That's right. And we're celebrating now, so, but right now we're celebrating Men's Day because me, Jeremy, and Chris are holding it down right here on the show. Right. All right, so. But we've got the chicks out there and the dudes in here, so. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we start <laughs> off with the, uh, um, the ribeye, and that's, a, that's the, the main thing for her. Okay. Um, <coughs> these steaks are cut by uh, our meat manager over at uh, our Ghent store, but he took really good care of us. Ribeye steaks, Stockman, Dakota, choice, uh, um, actually an upper prime rate of, of our uh, Angus certified um, meats. Okay. I mean, if I can get it out, it might be better. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go ahead and some of the ingredients to make the marinade, we're going to make All kind right. of season up a little bit. It's going to okay. be a little bit of oil and you want to drop right. that in. We're going to do garlic. And that's a chopped garlic there. Chopped garlic. Right. And then we're going right. to do some Dijon mustard. All right. Okay. And just want to give them a couple of three spoonfuls. Three spoonfuls. There you go. Just one. Let me get some good spoonfuls because I like there flavor. You yeah, there you go. Damn. Get it rolling. All right. Okay. Add a little bit of salt. You can do about maybe half that in there. Okay. I'll, I'll go help you with that. Thank How about a little bit of black pepper there? A little black pepper. Yeah. Is that this okay, yeah, give it a few turns. There you go. All right. Okay. And we got just a sherry vinegar. Okay. And that's going to kind of round out a little flavors there. And about how much vinegar? Uh, we'll tell, tell you. Keep on going. Okay. Uh, there you go. All right. How about a little bit of uh, Worcestershire? I forgot to put that on the recipe, so just add, just pencil in. Okay. So that's Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Yeah. All right. There you go. Keep going. Yeah, that's good. good. All now right. we're going to go ahead and mix that up. All right. Mmm. Okay. It smells good already. Yeah, and then we're just going to mm. slather that on top of those steaks. All right. And if you could do that ahead of time, you go let the steaks marinate for about an hour or so uh -huh. with that on there. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> Put those on top of the steaks here. All right, just pour it on? Yep, pour it on. All righty. And I saw that you did the mustard. I uh, had never heard of it until one day my dad was grilling. We were grilling pork chops, mm -hmm. and he put the little mustard up there, and I think it uh, gave it like a sweet, it, a sweeter taste. Is that what happens it, in mustard? It sweet? does. It gives that, but also kind of sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. and it all depends on what, you know, the things. We're kind of bringing it back a little later with the other sauce. And we're just going to drop these into the pan, right. the sauce down, and then we're going to actually cut it. Okay. Oh, and nice. these are kind of thick steaks, so yeah. we're going <laughs> to... We're going to go ahead and just, just yeah, we're just going to get this side uh, seasoned up a little bit or a little browned off, and we're going to have to finish this off in the oven, okay? All right. but, but we're going to take care of the target after this. We're going to jump over here, Trace. We've got some mashed potatoes that are going to yes. go along with it. I love mashed these are, potatoes. These are just already creamed off mashed potatoes. Got a little salt and pepper in there. Okay. Drop some, drop some uh, cheddar cheese in. Cheddar cheese. Whole thing? Yeah, yeah why not? All you right. like a lot of cheese in there, right? Yeah. Okay, you know. Uh, how about some uh, caramelized onions? Yes, sir. And all we do with that caramelized onion is you cook them down and just to where the point where it actually releases all the natural sugars, and that's what caramelizes, okay? Okay. okay. Is there and anything then, else yeah, in there? Now, that's basically it. You can mix that up. All right. And then we're going to finish off with a little vegetables. Even though all guys don't like to have vegetables, we need to yeah. kind of round off the meal. We're going to have, I just have some asparagus tips here. All right. about mushroom slices. We're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette, and then we're going to just we're just going to go ahead and um, throw these in the oven to broil. Awesome. And then I think we can kind of come back to show how we finish everything up. Mm hmm And see, but that's how, how simple was that? That was really simple, and this looks delicious. And that smell coming from those steaks right now. So, oh yeah. Oh, insane. Got the pan got a little hot there. Now we readjust it, and then I'm going to take a little bit of what we have left here. 
mm -hmm. and just kind of spoon this back over the top. Just add that other side. All right. So about how long are you the, uh, would you cook on each side? Do you think? Well, these, these are like I said. These are kind of thick steaks. We're just going to brown them off, which is going to be about maybe uh, five, six minutes on each side. Okay. Then I'm going to toss them in the oven for about 15, 15 minutes to finish them off. Okay. And mm -hmm. we're looking. We're going to try to look for about a medium rare to medium doneness on that. All right. Luckily, you got the vegetables. That way, when the girls ask what we had. <laughs> We can say, you know, we yeah. have a little, a little asparagus, yeah, we have, mushrooms, that's absolutely. and some other stuff. But we're going to, it's all about the steak today. All right. So we're and you said you had a, a surprise for us, right? But I'm okay, not going to give it away right now. No, yeah, we're not give it right now, but, you know, I've, I've been kind of known for, uh, I don't know, did we tell them now? Should we? No. no. Oh, okay. Should we? In the next segment, we'll bring it out. But it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. It'll be, yeah. yeah it'll, be, it'll be interesting, a little different. Maybe a little carny kind of because of off-sale going on and all the, all the different foods down there, so we'll all do right. something. Like now, I know that we're, uh, of course, we're grilling these on the stovetop. Uh, would mm -hmm. you say, could this type of marinade, the same thing, work for a grill? Because you know it's grill? grilling season. Absolutely, absolutely. Do this for the grill. You, can, you, you don't, you do or you don't have to use a kind of a sauce. We just kind of do the sauce to kind of keep it uh, something different for us today. Okay. But, you know, absolutely, just do this on the grill. Uh, I said, yeah. if, if you do this marinade like we just had, great to kind of like I said try to let it marinate for at least an hour two hours okay. and then um, uh, or you can even do it the night before and then have it ready to take out the yeah. next day that's what I like to do grill. get them nice and seasoned yeah. overnight and then you get that nice char flavor off that grill too all right so these are finished the mac mm -hmm. okay and mashed potatoes finished you want to throw, the, throw those in just go to the bottom oven all right. all right, the bottom oven. yeah I got all that right. set in a broil just right. pop oh, them in okay <laughs> and that's just gonna those are just gonna take about oh Maybe a total of about maybe uh, 10 minutes at that. 10 minutes on yeah. broils, which you have it on now. Right. And uh, what kind of sauce was that on top? I saw some... Oh, that was a balsamic vinaigrette. Just threw that on just for some flavor. All mm -hmm. right. So uh, we're going to come back a little later, and mm -hmm. hopefully these steaks will be done. Yeah, I can see. We're just kind of <laughs> getting in there. All right. All right. So it looks like the parade of sale is still going on. Looks pretty good out there. But we're going to sail back into the kitchen with Chef Bob <laughs> from Farm Fresh. We're making our party grub, our garlic mustard ribeye steaks with jalapeno red eye gravy. So is that what we're about to do now, the gravy? Now, now we're doing the gravy. Awesome. And basically what we're doing is we have the steaks in there finishing up in the mm -hmm. oven, um, but uh, we got all this good flavors in this pan, yeah. so we, want, we don't want to waste that and throw that down the drain. So we're mm -hmm. gonna take care of it all right. and work that in. We just want to heat it up there. Uh, I'm gonna let you come over right. here. Come on. Tracy, I want you to get involved. So we got a little coffee. Right, is that, that yeah, coffee? Yeah, coffee. Wow. That's part of the red eye gravy thing. Drop that in. Let's go ahead a little bit, a little bit of um, um, why don't we do the beef stock? Beef okay, stock. Beef stock. Yeah, just a little okay. bit at it. I got this, this cranked up a little bit. Okay. You kind of see it's, it's starting to kind of. There All you right. go. That's good. Uh, how about a little um, brown sugar? Brown sugar. There you go. Awesome. <coughs> and All got right. a little jalapenos. I say maybe about how hot? How hot do you like it? I like it spicy. Okay. Maybe about All right. Is that this here? Or the the, the one's chopped up. That's fresh right. alpenas. <laughs> what I did is I did take out the seeds, so it's not totally hot. Okay. okay. There you go. And then we got a little pepper jelly. Oh, I think in the recipe jelly. I said jalapeno jelly, but yeah, just regular pepper jelly. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never heard of pepper jelly. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a great southern thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to bring this kind of up to a boil, and we're going to move it around, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, work these, uh, get all those morsels coming off. See how it's kind of working up all there? Mm -hmm. And as it comes to a boil, um, it comes up to heat there. It's all going to kind of come together, and we're going to actually finish it off and thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch just to kind of bind it at the end. Okay. In the meantime, the, the surprise thing we've got surprise, here. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, we're going to do some chicken fried bacon. Yes. And that's, that's what we're going to do. We're uh, basically uh, in celebration of Harbor Fest. We said we've got to do some kind of something a little carny. Uh, Chris talked about funnel cake and uh -huh. pork product. Pork. Okay. Yes. Hey, what's better than pork belly? So, <laughs> hey, we got that we got here. Okay, so we're just going to do the process is just like you would for breading uh, chicken or anything else. Okay. We're going to go ahead with a little bit of chicken breader here. Okay. And like at just Farm Fresh, you can, if you want to buy something, just go to our delis and they'll be happy to sell you some. We have a pri private proprietary mixture that we do, so we can't give that out, but we mm -hmm. definitely would sell some to you. Okay, okay. so we're going to take some bacon. <laughs> All right. Uh, the bacon in there, and yes. that's a thick cut. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just bread it. All you right. want to get, you basically want to go nice from a, a bacon's wet, so you go a dry, wet, dry, and everything would adhere to each other. All okay. right. This is the flour on top. Yeah. We're doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. Shake that off a little bit. All right. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Drop that in the egg. Okay. 
Okay. okay that's a yeah, you make it all up in there. Yep. <laughs> all right. And then you just then you put it on the, put it in here. And this is a mixture of the breader that we had and um, a little bit of panko. Okay. And that's just to give that a little extra crunch. I was about to say it feels a little crunchy. Does it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. How do you how do you come up with stuff like this? Like, are you just sitting around? Was like, you know, oh, you what know, it tastes good together. A lot of times too, you know, there's there's a lot of great chefs. People have great ideas, and you just kind of pay attention to some of those, and you know, hey, just try to not jump on the bandwagon. Sometimes you make a little little uh, little bit of a uh, twist to make it your own. But okay. you know, there's a lot of great chefs out there. Got a lot of great chefs on the show. Yeah. And you know, people come with different um, ideas. A lot of times, what I, my biggest um, uh, challenge on, on the show is to uh, not try to duplicate too many things, you know. Yeah. Cause it, but, and then we're just going to fry it up, and really, hey, that just takes, it's already starting to brown here. Uh-huh. And it's kind of float. Basically, that's pretty much a uh, indication it's done. It only really takes about two to three minutes. Okay. And then we'll just, we can nibble on those as we eat our steaks and get everything together. Well, you know, you're not the only chef who likes to invent things. Um, <laughs> I, myself, <laughs> Chef Bob. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was a college student in hard uh -huh. times. The oodles and noodles, the top ramen, it gets a little boring. Oh, yeah. So I've been a little something I like to call the oodles of noodles sandwich. Yes. Dude, that sounds, that sounds awesome. It was, yeah, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> I have actually a full recipe book that I'm about to publish. <laughs> okay. But you can kind of see this cooking up, and that's pretty much really yeah. about it. You just want to get that outside crisp, the right golden color. Okay. Boom, there you are. All right, does that help the bacon cook any faster? Uh, the bacon, yeah. The bacon's really just going to cook up in really just a minute, you know, in there. Okay. So we're going to take that out, show that, drain that off a little bit, mm -hmm. put that on a little paper towel yeah. as we go along, and we're just going to continue the process here. Oh, and that looks good. Hopefully we come back. Here's the... Here's the uh, so let's check on that gravy. The, the gravy's starting to come up in a boil here. Let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is take a little cornstarch. We need to have some cold liquid to go it, and I just took some... I just took some uh, cold water, uh, cold coffee here. Yeah. If you want, I'll go finish this. You got your hands are all okay. <laughs> battered up. A little dirty. Yeah. And I'm just so mixing I that can, together. I could smell that coffee. What is? I never heard of that before. The red gravy? Oh, it's kind of a classical uh, southern uh, um, dish. And a lot of times, it's usually served with, uh, with like you know, pork chops and, and things like that. So, but we're just kind of why not? We're just at it, and we're just going to add a little bit here, mm -hmm. and we don't want to go too much because you'll see uh, a lot of times. It would just kind of really thicken up real quickly on you. But we're just going to bring that just to where we can, we said, hey, that's about it. Okay. And this is going to be for our steak? This will be for the steak. Yeah. All right. Cool. And just it just kind of, it, like it doesn't have enough flavor, we're just going to add a little bit more. All another right. dimension to that. And then, uh, yeah, it's almost there. All right, cool. So we're going to let that cook. Yeah. And then, you know, we're going to look at that steak in just a second. And um, hopefully we can bring it back at the end of the show and sample oh, absolutely. that. That's yeah. what we're hoping for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 